This giant, four-foot-tall, high priest breastplate can be a unique learning activity for your students, as well as provide a focal centerpiece in your classroom. The high priest of the Old Testament wore a breastplate with 12 gemstones, representing the 12 sons of Israel. God's people were constantly on the high priest's heart, literally and figuratively. Certainly, Jesus, as our great high priest, as God's people on his heart, too. The first step is to choose a board size and type. A quick trip to your home improvement store will yield options aplenty. This board is 48 inches tall, 36 inches wide, and eighth of an inch thick. I chose eucalyptus white hardboard because it has rigidity and smoothness, a great combination for this project. However, you could certainly use a dry erase board, foam board, or white particle board. Once you have chosen and cut, if necessary, your breastplate board, it is time to make the paper gemstones. In Exodus 28, 17 through 21, God instructed Moses to engrave the names of the 12 sons of Israel on the 12 stones of the breastplate and arrange them in an exact order. But we are not told which of the sons' names are associated with each stone. Additionally, the exact meaning of the Hebrew name given for each mineral is unclear, so we can't precisely determine the color and what modern stones might be most closely associated with them. Adding to the confusion, you will even find gemstone name differences between Bible translations. Here, it is only important to know that to recreate the colors on your giant breastplate, you will need a variety of colored papers or cardstock for a total of 12, in shades of greens, blues, purples, and yellows. Add in a red, a white, and a black, and you should be all set. Each of the 12 gemstones should be of a uniform size and shape. I like this emerald cut because it is easy to trace and looks like a gem. To make life easier, make a template out of heavy paper or cardstock. If you're making a breastplate similar to the 48 inch tall and 36 inch wide board I have here, eight and a half by 11 inch paper works great for the gemstones. To create a template, simply measure two inches from either side of each corner and then draw a connecting line. Cut off the corners and now you can either trace the corners and cut them individually or skip the tracing and cut them in bulk. If you are using a smaller or larger board, you will need to scale the gemstone size up or down. Make sure to reserve room on your board if you would like to add lettering at the top. Once you have the gemstones cut, arrange them on your board, leaving room for lettering if desired. There are four rows of gemstones, three on each row. If you're concerned with historical accuracy, I suggest that you place the following colors in the first row, red, yellowish green, and then green. The second row should be a greenish blue, a deep blue, and finally white. In the third row, choose gemstones of golden yellow, black, and then purple. Finally, in the fourth row, use yellow, light green, and lastly, a color of your choice or something multicolored. Now outline the gemstones by tracing with a permanent marker. Instead of a marker, you could use the thin plastic tape seen here for a clean, dark edge. Find this tape in craft stores. It can be called whiteboard tape, gridding tape, or graphic art tape. I decided to place the names of the sons in random order on the breastplate since the Bible doesn't specify their exact location, but certainly oldest to youngest would be a great choice as well. I used a Cricut machine to cut the letters, but certainly you can buy lettering or simply write them with a permanent marker. Same thing goes for the large lettering at the top. Certainly having the names of each of the 12 sons of Jacob behind the gemstones are entirely optional. However, depending upon your lesson or chosen activity, you might want to display the board without the gemstones attached. And so this is a great way for students to memorize the names of the 12 sons. Each week, cover another name with a new gemstone and see if your students can remember the names underneath. 
For smaller classes, each student can decorate their own gemstone and research their tribe. Assign each student to a tribe and students will happily write their names on their tribe's gemstone. Or you could occasionally take a gemstone off the board and hide it and provide a small prize to the student who puts the gemstone back where it belongs. Use this board in your prayer corner where students can write their requests on the gemstones. Send individual gemstones home so that students can pray for each other. The options are endless. I hope that this has inspired you to place a giant breastplate in your classroom. If you have another great idea for how to use this, please leave a comment below. This is Becky from Experience the Bible Creatively, reminding you that props are always better than paper.